What's going on YouTube? Thanks for joining me for another episode of DIY Amateur Hour. In this episode, we're going to try and make a nail puller. It's about the only name I can think of for it. As you can see in this little short clip, um, it's not too difficult to make. There's not a whole lot of instructions with this video. Um, but it looks like it's a fairly simple way to remove nails out of boards. Now, I don't do a lot of nail removal, but my dad does. So this is going to be his Father's Day project. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So as you can see in the video, they had their length of pipe. Uh, I got some half inch pipe that's 18 inches long. I already marked it in the middle because um, I'm going to try and make two of these. Then they made their little claw thing out of some anger, out of some angle iron, I believe. And then I got some nuts, some washers, and some threaded rod. That should be all we need for this project. Um, other than a welder, obviously. My welding skills are mediocre, but they seem to hold th pieces of metal together. So, let's jump into it. I cut the pipe in half. Now I'm going to weld the washer on the end that the threaded rod is guided by. Uh, like I said, my welding skills aren't the best, but shit, we're going to give it a shot. And I don't have a test piece, so we're just going to wing it. Well, it's fucking tacked on there. I mean, freak it. I think it's good enough for government work. You just saw all that in real time. I'm gonna work with it. So the next step will be to cut uh, probably about a four inch channel along the end of this pipe. In the video, it looked like they did more like six, but I think they were also using longer pipe. And I think you only need six inches if you have six inch long nails based on the video. So we have enough of the pipe cut out that the nut will slide easily along the pipe. But as you can see in the video right here, the nut needs to fit within the pipe itself. So instead of half inch pipe, probably could have gotten three quarter inch pipe um, but live and learn. So I'm going to take the nut to the belt sander and try and make it a little bit smaller since it's close to fitting in there, just not quite. The video calls for two nuts. I'm going to see if I can do it with just one. So we sanded down the nut a little bit. It's not a whole lot smaller, but it fits in there now. So that's good to go. Actually, pretty tight. So, I can't get it out right now, but uh, it'll work for what we need to do. So, the next step is to cut the little claws off of the angle iron. Right there ladies and gentlemen as you can see I have the claw welded on to the two nuts at the bottom of the threaded rod. Uh, welds aren't the prettiest things but that's what happens when you use a hundred dollar welder. So 
Um, so you can see the claw is, well, it's a claw. It's not the best looking thing. It's not really what I wanted, but my Dremel died halfway through. So that'll have to work for now. We'll save better claws for version two. But what we're gonna do now is throw everything together, see if it functions like the way it's designed. And if it does, we'll take it back apart, clean up these welds, make it look a little better. So let's get to it. All right there, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the final version of our nail removal tool. Um, got double nuts here on the side, claws down there obviously the thread rod. The observant among you will notice that this is a different tube, different pipe. Uh, I've cut way too much out of this one. You can see there's like less than half of it left. Whereas this one, it's probably two thirds of the pipe left in comparison. And I also got rid of the threaded ends on this one. So this is what we're working with here. You take your socket and drive and forward. It pulls the claw up. And if you reverse it, it goes back down. So this is version one, obviously. I'd never made this before. Um, but it does work. Uh, it's proof of concept just like the video showed. I only broke uh, a Dremel and my air hose got a leak in it during this project. But other than that, uh, mission successful. So I'm gonna clean it up, paint it, get rid of this uh, weld marks, cut the, cut the rod obviously, and we'll be in business. So next picture will be the finished product. All right, YouTube, so this is the finished product. Uh, I threw some color on there so it didn't look quite so bad, but our nail puller uh, works exactly as it should. So if you put your, once again, if you put the drill on there, put it in forward speed, it pulls the claw up. and reverse sends it down. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you have any tips or comments how I could improve this, once again, it's not my idea or my design, but make sure you leave them down below. And if you wanna see more cool things like this in the future, uh, be sure to subscribe. Remember, you can always DIY. Yeah.